you, you'll be able to hear enough the whole from time this mic. Just be like, <laughs> I'll, it's really I'll, cute. I'll, We're all I'll, gathered around. I'll, turn, I'll turn this mic up a little bit, and then we can go back to our seats to talk about it afterwards. Okay. This looks like a meme template. That's all around <laughs> the computer. No, so this is great. Oh, look, Megan. Okay, so so guys, we have to talk about this before we even watch it. When I look up Left Behind Rise of the Antichrist, first there's a picture of Last of Us, <laughs> and it says Left Behind Rise of the Antichrist. Watch online today. And then there's a picture of Megan. And it says, mm. Left Behind Rise of the Antichrist, full movie <laughs> then, streaming HD. And then the third picture is so, Joe Biden. Well, no, that's actually, I think he's oh, actually in the movie. So that's Joe the Biden actual cameos? trailer. But what I, think is, what I think is funny about it is... Are they using? It, is that, well, this isn't, I don't think this is from Left Behind. It looks like it's from, like, random websites. But it's just funny to me. So that's... I guess Nicolas Cage and his and his daughter. The Megan and the, one's pretty that, funny. That's the Antichrist. Oh, <laughs> Megan's the Antichrist? Probably. Okay. I don't know. So we're going to watch the trailer now for <laughs> Left Behind 2, Rise of the Antichrist. And actually, before we do this, I, I do want to give a little bit of context. So this is a direct sequel to the Nicolas Cage Left Behind reboot that came out in 2014. So there was the original Kirk Cameron trilogy, then... Then the Nick Cage was in the reboot almost 10 years ago. And this is a direct sequel, but Nick Cage isn't in it. It's By got a whole way, new cast. We'll see the new cast in a second. The loosest reboot ever. It, like, it's based on one like, chapter of the book. Page. Yeah, one page. <laughs> the book. Well, so, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so Left Behind <laughs> is uh, a problematic series from the early 2000s. Was it in the 90s that it first started? I think so. I don't know. It was very popular around that time. Then they made Left Behind And kids. it was about the rapture. No. Yeah, yeah, there was Left Behind for There's teens like and for kids. Books. And basically the whole premise of this series is the rapture happens. The people who aren't true Christians were left behind and they have to figure out what to do. And it caused a lot of fear and conspiracies and things. And we'll, we can go into that more later, but that's just the context of, here we go, finally. I'm like, excited. Another Left Behind film. Let's see what we got. I don't think I ever saw the first one. Hold on. Ads. Not a sponsor. Unless you want to be a Walmart. Empty your pockets. Okay, a Fathom event. If someone had told me that millions of people were just going to disappear, I, like you, would have said they were crazy. Was it the rapture? Yes. There yes. was a pig on that cross. Sure, a pig? Really sure. I saw it. Did you, did I you missed know? the pig. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. What oh, I, I do see the pig. Yeah, I do it, see the pig. Yeah, so... This is, very, is that supposed to be the Antichrist? I, well, it's somebody being demonic, but like they actually had to like make that prop. Yeah. <laughs> I would feel uncomfortable doing this. Yes, it was. Yeah. Talk sure. about speak no evil, see no evil. Yeah. It wasn't the rapture. The rapture was debunked on the first day. The second wave of Wait, is this a God's on Dead spinoff? Trust me. I'm going to make sure you're on the right team. You're on the team of the art of fake news. As much as I can see. Oh no. That was the evil guy from Paul Blart 2. No, 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 okay. Wait, Wait he asked God to leave him behind? Yeah, let's catch that line again. Why are you still here? Because I asked God to leave me behind. You want me to look for magic? They're not a bunch of religious wackos. Wackos like my mom. Fortunately, we have a solution. We can implement Eat and Pay worldwide in a matter of weeks. Welcome to the future. I gotta look inside the Eat and Pay platform. And it's a whole lot more than a glorified bank card. So you're just admitting to being crazy. Yes, I'm quite comfortable with that. Oh, <laughs> when it is all over, half the world will be dead. This is the biggest news story since the vanishing of You listen to me. You drag this line of nonsense into the public eye. We're both finished. That's the dad from Psych. The Antichrist will declare himself as God. Seem like a stretch even for them. The world is suffering. We are on the brink of mass insanity. What happens to the rest of us? Doesn't it seem strange? It's still so easy to dismiss it, even though we saw it with our own eyes. The the evil guy looked a lot like Joe Biden. Um, okay, let's Maybe go back. Old, let's go back. Let's younger. go back to our chairs. All right, return so to we our can chairs. do a proper discussion about what we just witnessed. My goodness. So I have to say, okay. First of all, I would like I would like to make the point that. The the theology of the Left Behind series is extremely, extremely problematic, and it's led to a lot of the mindset in conservative Christian politics that exists today. This is worse than the books. I want to say right off the bat, this is a hundred times worse than the books, because they're <laughs> leaning in to this 
like the the line uh uh i'm perfectly comfortable with being crazy or like oh like the wacko like my mom and then he says the phrase fake news they're making it very blatantly political and tied into today's politics because that's the conversation on on facebook with the you know, with like hyper conservative like christians that are like into conspiracy theories and things like that like this is just taking that and making that the heroes of the film and of course cnn are the bad guys and no no, no. it's cwn right right because they patent they pending afford the trademark but uh, it, the other problem is the theology seems even worse than the well that's books. the thing because I... there's the pastor is like why did you stay but i asked god to leave me behind that's what i'm saying what so so the bad <laughs> theology is even taking back seat to like because they know it's going to sell i mean they're kind of smart if i'm being honest with you because that's going to get some butts and seats just because of the populace of america right now yeah but i'll be there what's funny is is that <laughs> like they don't care about the theological aspect at all they're just kind of yeah that was bizarre to me i'm like it's this is already bad theology and now you're gonna like just like rework it to, to like to, for convenient plot points i asked god to leave me behind so, I, what a saint! That's uh, all well, I have to say. say <laughs> that, by the way, that didn't happen in the book. The pastor that no, was no. left behind realized that he wasn't really saved. And I thought, you know, if you're, of course, I don't believe the rapture is biblical, and there's a, a lot of problems with the books. Here, here's what I'll say though. So, so something like that is the idea of like, oh, just because you're pastor doesn't mean you're truly saved. Doesn't mean you're a Christian. Yeah. Like, there's something there, there's something interesting about that yeah, character yeah, yeah. arc. Yeah, that's the interesting. The original books were were good entertainment. They yeah. actually had a compelling story and interesting character dynamics and things like that. The theology was bad, and there was hints of weird political stuff that I think got baked into people's minds because <clears throat> when we had a lot of just what's happened in evangelicalism for the past six years. I, I had this epiphany one day. I was like, this is because of Left Behind. Yeah. Like, honestly. It all comes back to Left Behind. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> true, a lot true, of though. this is because of, like, Tim LaHaye and, and, and the stuff that they, they were teaching. Um, Because this is the kind of, uh, like, oh, it's finally happening. We got to fight back. That kind of mentality. But this takes, like, the subtle undertones that I feel like influence people's attitudes. And it's like, let's just make that the movie. None of this looks like the book at all. Like they're well, not that, even it's its own thing. There wasn't a book called Rise of the Antichrist. That's how the first one of this new reboot was too. I mean, it was it was really just all about <laughs> Nicolas Cage landing the plane, mm -hmm. uh, which is like a very small part of that first book. Which, which you know I get too because the first book and that premise of oh what would happen if a bunch of people just disappeared. But if I want to see a movie that asks that question, I can watch Avengers Infinity War. You know, like that's I, true. You, know, like, <laughs> you don't have to be a Christian movie. Like, apocalyptic rapture dynamics. So, um, so uh, that stuff aside, I also find it absolutely hilarious that instead of just rebooting it again, because the other one came out almost ten years ago and nobody <laughs> saw it, Kevin Sorbo said, "You know what? I look enough like Nicolas Cage." Let's oh, so he's this. the same guy. He's yeah. the pilot. Yeah, um, and and That's and beautiful. I looked at it. That's this, is, great. this is considered a direct sequel, even though none of the same actors or actresses are That's in it. So weird. And That's Kevin so Sorbo weird. is Nicolas Cage's character. That's so bizarre. And this is bizarre for me because I was on a film set and I You've worked with. Kevin Sorbo. I met Kevin Sorbo. Very nice man, but uh, yeah, I, he he definitely leans into the the. The, the heavy political spear. So I can see why he took on this role. Um, I'm sorry. I just yeah. had an epiphany. I, I just... So the dad from Psych is in this movie. And I just I just remembered Kevin Sorbo was a guest star on Psych. Ooh. Uh. So they, they met each other. I don't know if you remember this episode, but there's an episode where Kevin Sorbo plays this, like, really cool, like, bounty hunter. Okay. And Sean, like met him when he was a kid and like always wanted to like meet him again because he thought he was so cool like oh look at this bounty hunter he's so much cooler than my dad like he goes around he's like above the law and then he meets him in real life later and he's like a jerk oh. <laughs> and um and his dad was like see i told you so anyway so he had a whole episode where he was like he ends up being the criminal they solved the case mm. but yeah so kevin sorbo that's he was 
they met okay. they worked together wow so so we're seeing it do you have I hope. do you have any i mean does it surprise you that kevin sorbo's making this movie <laughs> no no it it, it it seems like it makes a lot of sense it's just odd that He's being Nicolas Cage's character. Now, I, I don't remember the first one very well. Was Nicolas Cage a jerk in that movie? Yeah. Because Kevin Sorbo always is cast as, like, the villain, except for Hercules, I guess. But, like, he's usually well, he the villain. He psych. Yeah, he's a jerk or a villain character, so. Well, see, and now, but now he's got to evolve. Because... But didn't, didn't it, at the end, I don't, uh, you can spoil the end of the original Left Behind, or the 2014 he, or whatever. He becomes Does, nicer. At he end. becomes nice, right? He has, like, an arc, and, right? And he, and, he, and he gets saved. That's the whole point. Oh, he like, beca- gets saved. So, at, at this, is he wife, just. I think his wife and his son or his wife and his daughter get raptured. Now, and he's th- like, here's oh, the thing. And that's what happens in the original story. I don't know that like like there's no definitive salvation moment in the 2014 film, but um, but I, I'm sure they'll act like there was like they'll they'll retroactively. And I'll say them. that too. If you so if we were to go back and watch the trailer for the first one right now, it's much higher quality than what we just. It saw. is, and also is it a Christian no, movie? It, it, no, and that's because it say, treats it I like think, it's I, not, and I, this feels like it's leaning into yeah, that. I think yeah, that's is. part of why that one was higher budget, why they were able to get Nicolas Cage, is they basically there's little little conversations about God, but they, it's they almost like a disaster it, movie. Yeah, that, that's exactly what they it's that just happens to have a leaning where some of the people were like, ah, oh, it's the rapture. Just playing with the concept of the rapture, and they allude to God. They allude to the fact that his wife went to like a Bible study. Like after he figures mm-hmm. out she was raptured, he was like, oh, she read the Bible sometimes, <laughs> and that was pretty much the extent of it being a Christian movie. But this one, it's just so bizarre to me that they didn't just reboot. Right, it's that's not really a weird. It is a reboot. It Let's almost doesn't even look like a rapture-ish movie. It looks like like a God's Not Dead type of movie. Well, like that's with, uh, the like rapture a... already happened in the first one. Right. You know what? That's oh. what it was. They realized they didn't have the budget to do all the disaster movie stuff from the first. So one. they just like, waited oh, until we'll just kind of we'll we'll claim that that was. Part so this, of this is in the wake of the rapture when the Antichrist is rising Correct. to power. They, they right. said on, on CNN that this was six months after the vanishing. Which is the blip. Which is a little soon. <laughs> the blip. The snap. <laughs> a little soon, even for uh, you yeah. know, doesn't doesn't fit the timeline of the the theology, even the fake theology. You know, the, when when is the Antichrist supposed to rise? Is that near the end of the seven years? Yeah, something like that. Like like it starts to. I, you'd have to watch Left Behind to get a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. The they didn't want to do guys, that do because. You guys mind if I share a potential spoiler? Go ahead. For this sure. coming out movie? Yeah, just yeah. do it, whatever. It's a potential spoiler. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So I got to say, I didn't, I didn't want to watch the trailer ahead of this, but I did look at the IMDb page because I was trying to figure out, again, I was doing research to see, is this a sequel or is it a reboot? What is this? And I was looking at the actors, the actors list, and based on the trailer you just watched, who would you think is the Antichrist? The, the dude. The Joe is Biden it, guy. The Joe, Joe Biden, Biden guy, right? Um, he was the evil military general in the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That's um, where he was from, too. And, and, and he's from Paul Blart Mall. And he was a villain in, in the show Arrow. He's been in a few things. but um, He's spooky looking. So it, And look he's like, like here's here's your new credit card because I'm the Antichrist. Um, <laughs> and he sounds like the Kermit. The, the Antichrist gives out credit cards. One world currency. <laughs> Just get this vaccine and you can pay for your Big Mac. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> So, so, so he, you would assume that he's the Antichrist, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. From the trailer. He's a puppet, okay? Because <gasps> in the Left Behind series, no. the, the Antichrist is named Nikolai Carpathia. That's his name. I don't know why. Don't That's ask. Silly is name. Russian? Um, and, and I looked at the cast list and somebody else plays Nikolai Carpathia. Some like oh. skinny Italian dude with really long hair. And so I think they're going to do a twist ending where, like, you think he's going to be the Antichrist because the rise of the Antichrist, and then you figure out, no. He just works for Nick Carpathia. Because, Carpet, yeah. look, this is what people have been saying. Like, we're not saying Joe Biden is the Antichrist, but we're saying that the Antichrist is using him to get you think it's <laughs> you, you think it's bro Jiden, but it's, it's actually really, Putin. It's, <laughs> it's really Kamala Harris. You're um, right. Yeah, who yeah. Who tried to arrest all the homeschoolers? Right. That's not that far. I feel like right. it, at this yeah. point there was a, the there universe. was even it's a, a universe. That's there true. was a thing that said God is dead on the wall, and, and I'm like, is this a crossover? That would be epic. Like when they were gonna do <laughs> Jurassic Park and um, Fast and Furious. Okay, so no, God's not this. dead and um, left behind. Think about this. God's not left behind. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So, so think about it. They, an AI can write it. <laughs> think about this. In the style. You know how... You know how... Okay. God's not left behind. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, think, think about this. All right. Okay, this is just a thought that I have. All right? You know how in, like, Spider-Man No Way Home... Uh, oh, no. Oh, yes. When, like, it brings in the people from all the different universes... There's going to be, like, a portal. So, like, Kirk and, Cameron. like, all of a sudden, like... <laughs> it, it, David like, A.R. White walks in. After credits scene with Venom there, and you're like, why is he even there? He's not connected to any of this. Right. And it's just kind of for fun. What if, like, when the rapture happened... It brought the atheist professor back to life <gasps> and turned yes! into Nicolas Cage. That from God's from the first God's well, Not Dead. Because he's from another timeline. That's my head cannon now. Yeah, that's my head cannon going into this. I think the portal should open and David A.R. White steps in. Because he always is a hero. Dude, what if they're building up? What if the Christian the cinematic universe? universe? I, I can Kevin Sorbo's gonna make eight of these movies. Uh huh. A I think, bunch of people are going to go see this, and they're going to finish the whole series. And in the last movie, when Jesus returns to to, to, to settle this once and for all, it's going to be David A.R. White. <gasps> David A.R. White is Jesus? In, in Left Behind 10, David A.R. White's going to play Jesus. And as long as there's no profanity in it, we can get the guy from War Room in it, too. So That's I think true. So the pilot's name is Ray Steele. I think there should be a film... Where like all three different race deals come together. Oh, see, so that's so much better than what I was saying. Kirk <laughs> like, Cameron, yeah. Kevin Sorbo, and Nicolas Cage. <laughs> but Kirk Cameron plays a different character, so they would have to be Buck. Oh, he wasn't the pilot. But maybe Buck Williams is in this. I don't know. He is. Okay. And he's also played by a different. So actor then you than could the one still get you Kirk could... Cameron, and the, so there could be multiple say, Buck Williams. I don't Williams. remember who played um, Ray Steele in the in that in the Kirk Cameron trilogy, but you could get Buck Williams and Ray Steele, all three of them. Yeah. And I say, what what is this? Some kind of Left Behind squad? <laughs> That's great, yeah. Um, and what if we had got Andrew Garfield in it just for fun? Just for fun, yeah, yeah. just for no just reason. He, he plays religious characters. Yeah, he was yeah. he was in he some religious be, movies, you know, yeah. good ones. Yeah, wow. Maybe like the new Tribulation Force as a symbol. Tribulation yeah. Force. <laughs> <laughs> Left Behind Two. That's the, the name of Left the Behind Tribulation two. No Team. It is absolutely the, the original Left Behind yeah. Two. Mm. The original. This is, this is the new. I know. I'm gonna say Left Behind Two. I thought you were just joking. No, no, no. no. The film up. and the book. They, they Tri- decide... Left Behind Two. Tribulation Force. They actually decide to call it that. They're like, they, they're like, we're, we're Christians, Christians now, post rapture, mm. and we know what's gonna happen, and they're like. We'll call it the Tribulation Force. What are we? Some, some kind, kind of, of Tribulation, tribulation force? force? That's the dumbest name. <laughs> That's so stupid. That, so, they, that they sounds like a, a that sounds like a that. Bible Man spinoff. Yeah. I so are we? Gonna Dude, see Bible it? Man can come. In Bible Man point. Tribulation Here's Force. The thing, guys, like part of me wants to go see it so we can talk about. I real. It, I do. We have to get I the don't money. Don't financially support this. Yeah. I don't either, <laughs> but I do. It. This is the only time where it's ethical to pirate a movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Fathom events are also really expensive. Yeah. Well, but yeah, like our, our I'm willing to, to pay. Not, our tickets to God's Not Dead 4 were like $40 a piece. But these are not that expensive. They're like 14 bucks. That's still expensive for a movie ticket these days. It is, but days. it's 14 not Back 40. in my day, no, and I, I was movie exactly. ticket was right. 24 But I, I just... Like, I thought about that, too. Like, there was, like, five or six of us that went to see God's Not Dead. And, like, I don't want to keep financially supporting these things. I'll say it gives me hope that they're becoming Fathom events and not full That's true. Release. Although I will say I don't think four of us are going to make or break their box office. No. I do wonder, like, what kind of crowd. So, when oh, we went people, to see God's Not Dead 4, there was multiple times where people started clapping. Like, oh, yeah. I remember that. I, I want that experience again. We have to go Although, this. I'll also say. We have say, to see this. There were at least. Two times that I initiated the clapping. That is true. Connor yeah. insultingly, does. insultingly, but they didn't know that. They thought I was into it. So I definitely want to clap. Oh yeah. Um. So also, can we go back to the like <laughs> putting a bloody pig face on the cross? Like, yeah. That what what is that? that is that? I, 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 Did you see that evil? Wrong. That was wrong. I. I think so too. I like it's not a thing. It's See, interesting too if if it actually had a point in the story, though, I'd be more okay with it. But it seems like it's just for shock. Well, we talked about this. It's just like, oh, uh, there's bloody pig head on we, the cross. We talked about this earlier, right? Like, can you depict evil in film? And I just that that would that's an example of something that in my opinion is gratuitous. I don't know that that was necessary. Yeah, I want to see how that plays into the story. Um, because they had to come up with new ways of blaspheming God. 
to depict Post, in a movie, right? Like yeah. if they were doing a uh, like a movie about the early church and stuff like that, we we have like identifiable ways that like Christians have been persecuted, but they're like coming up with new ways for people to defy religious spaces in order to like act. But like... if all of the Christians got raptured, then who are they trying to insult by putting the bloody pig head on the cross? That's a good point. They just... Right, because they're all non-believers in the context they of the movie. Just TP'd the yard. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. I Good Why are they even going opinion. into the church? I, I hope what happens is to, to <laughs> talk to the ones who asked God to leave them behind. Ooh, what if there's more than one in the It's movie? a church of all so, the people that ask God to leave them so, behind. So Kevin Sorbo opens the door and sees like the, the desecrated sanctuary, and he's like, the Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I can't wait to see this. We're I'm excited. Do Let's do it. I do, go. I do want to see it. I do, too. I want to see it. I also want to watch the first Left Behind just to kind of recap recap on the lore. I would be fine with watching a recap on YouTube of, like, someone narrating yeah, over it. Yeah, because I'll say this. It's not – It's there's not much lore. The rapture happens. They and stretch, they they stretch out such a small part of the first book over and, this and, hour and a half. And there's not the same kind of, like, cheesy Christian stuff that you'd get out of a guy. Now, see, now see, I'd almost just watch it not as a Christian film, just as, like, a Nicolas Cage disaster movie about him trying to land a plane. It's still pretty bad. But, oh, is it? Mm. But, yeah. It but, was during 2014, Nicolas Cage era. Yeah. That, that was, was bad That era. was post-National uh, Treasure, Nicolas Cage. Let me, let me Cage. ask this. Was there pretty... any references to Left Behind in The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent? Oh, that's a good... Uh, I, I don't, don't think so. I don't remember. I, don't, I think he wanted to keep that one in the closet. Yeah, <laughs> he was well, like, there, that one was low even for me. I think he, he wanted to keep a lot of movies in the closet there. That's... Yeah, he just picked, like, the best of. Yeah. Of well, Nicolas Cage, yeah. Um... He he. It was his face off, and and national treasure. Whoa. Did he reference national treasure in that? Yeah, that is. He did a great job in those movies. I hope they bring him yeah. back. Yeah, what a world. That was I a good movie, the unbearable weight movie. Yes, that was that very was. funny. That was a twenty twenty two movie. That was, was one of my favorites of twenty. That was that was a solid it. movie. It was. Um, guys, I think this is this is all we can do tonight. This. You've reached max capacity. Uh, yeah.